Okay, we've got the theme jack installer installed and the site licensed and we've imported our theme. So now we're going to start on the customizing. We'll start off with the general settings and the first item on the list is the favicon and this is the little icon that you see beside a tab. You can leave this as it is or create your own and upload it. And if you want to upload your own, you'll click on this and go and upload it. The front page is at the moment is home page, but you can set it as anything that you want on here. And I will leave it as home and if I were to change it I would need to click here to save the new setting. And we have the social links. So Facebook, if you want to change the icons from what they are at, at this time, let's take a quick look. These are the icons that are built into the local theme jack themes and you can leave them exactly as they are or upload your own if you have them. So I'm going to go and see if I can find do I have any in here? If you have them in here you can select them or go to here to upload files and um, here are some little icons that I can use and you can upload them all at once and then just select the ones as you're going to use them. Okay, so the first one is Facebook. So this shows you the information about the image. This is the link for it and we'll set that one as the icon. And if this is your own site and you want to take people to your Facebook page, you'll enter your information and update. If it's a client's, you're going to put the client's Facebook information in here and update. Now, if you have an image that is too large, like in my media library, I don't think that was, okay, so if I click on this image, it's too large to use, and hmm, if I wanted to edit it, I can come over here and um, the top information here, it will scale it to size. So I want it to be 20% and we'll update here. And you see now the, the image is 20 pixels by 20 pixels and I'm just going to copy this link right here. Select all, copy, and we'll go back to back to our general settings and Twitter, and I will just post paste the URL in here and update. I would again have put the appropriate Twitter username in here, either your own or business owner's name, Twitter account. And we'll just go and take a quick look and see what we have. Okay, 
So here we have two new little uh, icons for Facebook and Twitter. And uh, I don't know if it's if it's worth the trouble that it takes, but I guess if, I, if you have a client that really wants their own icons in there, go ahead and do it for them. And we'll close that. And if you have other social links that you want to add, uh, you can go ahead and add those here, add a new one. And that's done now for general settings. And next video will be on the contact.